Europe looks set to regain its direct access to space this summer, with the final assembly of its new rocket Ariane 6 underway ahead of its inaugural flight. I'm uh, extremely excited because this is the fruit of um, more or less uh, 10 years of work and it's a historical day today. It's more excitement and pride for Europe because uh, it's the first time that we are going to see the central core of an Ariane 6 that's going to fly. Ariane 6 was due to replace its predecessor in 2020, but the project was beset by delays. Without its own rocket launcher, the European space sector has turned to external companies like SpaceX. Some have considered the lack of direct access to space as a European crisis. It's true that uh, since uh, the last launch of Ariane 5 in July last year, we haven't had a, a, our own means to accessing space for the, as a workhorse. There was a war, unfortunately, nobody expected it. And from one day to the next, Soyuz was no longer here. Ariane 6 is a big issue for Europe because it will be serving all the needs from institutional needs of defense, telecommunications, scientific satellites to the commercial needs of Europe and of course beyond. As tall as the first floor of the Eiffel Tower, the new rocket is powered by a mixture of liquid oxygen and hydrogen. Ariane 6 will launch up to 12 times a year carrying satellites, aiming to become competitive enough to take on market giants like SpaceX. There are also hopes that one day it will carry European astronauts on manned missions from EU territory. It's first of all a, a political ambition. Uh, it's up to European states to decide if they want to acquire uh, this capacity. So we can only say that uh, we are ready to contribute. We're here at the European spaceport in French Guiana moments before the assembly of the new Ariane 6 rocket, the largest launcher produced in Europe to date. After years of delay, the Ariane 6 will face its first crucial test launch this summer, when all eyes will be on the launch pad behind me as Europe looks to reassert its independence in space. David Walsh, Euronews, French Guiana.